Rumors point to a glass iPhone, but just one glass iPhone, not two. We get a teaser of Android applications running on Chrome OS, and analysts claim that iOS and Windows Phone are falling hard lately. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, no, I didn't just take the Cap side, but also the Thundercat side, because I'm from that generation. <laughs> this is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with analytics. A few days ago, we heard that Apple was down when it came to its market share, but uh, Gartner Analytics just came to confirm Android is seven points up to 84% of the market share. Apple is horribly down. It's barely scratching 14%. And then for those of you that are asking just how well Microsoft is doing with Windows Phone, the company went down from 2% of market share to 0.7. I think they should just pretty much call it quits by now. Other very interesting news come from Android as uh, we hear that family sharing for applications is finally coming to Android. It's existed on iOS to a certain degree, though it's rather cumbersome, but yeah, it works. Android is apparently also getting that. Apparently Google is uh, roughening things up with developers for that option to be available sometime within June or July. It's been available for Google Music for the longest time as well, so uh, let's see when that lands. And speaking of Google, another very interesting development when it comes to applications is also having Android apps run on Chrome OS. We have heard of this for the longest time. It's pretty much the only way that Chrome OS would have a point of being. And uh, apparently it is going to happen soon. It just got demoed at Google I.O. And uh, the only problem is not every Chromebook will be able to run these. You actually need a Chromebook with a touch screen. So if you don't, it seems that's the requirement. But hey, we could be wrong. Wait for it to become official. And since the news continue being all things Google, those of you that are wondering exactly when you will be able to get one of those Daydream VR headsets, Google is apparently building its own, just like we have a Nexus smartphone and pretty much everything else. It seems that we will have a Daydream VR from Google along with the controller. We pretty much did see the controller at Google I.O. It reminds us of the one for the Apple TV, but it's great to see that thing. I mean, it could have been worse. It could have been much worse. And no, that controller looks cool. Let's just see how functional it is and hope that uh, we get it for gameplay, not just for selecting things on a display, buddy. And finally, the very hot news today have to do with a future iPhone and glass-on-glass -glass design. Now, apparently, we're not talking about the 2016 iPhone 7. Apparently, it has to do with uh, next year's iPhone. It seems that uh, even though we've heard rumors of glass on glass, apparently it won't come to both devices. Apparently only one is getting this. The other is remaining with the metal design that we currently see. Uh, and we don't know why that is. We do notice that Apple will probably differentiate the iPhone 7 Plus with a dual camera, and it seems that design will be a thing next year. And it leads me to the question of today. When choosing a smartphone, what do you prefer? Do you prefer an aluminum design or do you prefer glass on glass? You know, I prefer aluminum mainly because of its durability because replacing a glass back is just horrible. But then again, I don't know, Samsung has done such an amazing job with the Galaxy S6 and Galaxy S7. I pretty much have never seen a shattered back on any of these up to the point where it seems the technology is there for this to be worth it. I like it, I prefer it, but then aluminum on devices like the HTC 10 is also crazy gorgeous. Leave us a comment down below, we'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes if you want to get these news earlier before the video is filmed. Follow us on Pocketnow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. In addition, you can also catch our videos on Vessel, vessel.com slash pocketnow, and follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.